Uh, there he is. There's Pedro. That's the first time that happened. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? Waiting on Pedro to jump on. When he jumps on, then I'll make sure that I put the uh, I po I post it down there. Make sure you follow us on so all social media, all social media. Okay, uh, there he is. Uh, that was hey. <laughs> we I was on. I said I'll jump on. I thought I was waiting for you to jump on. I, I literally, I literally so, sent you a text before the show. It was like I'll start it up today, <laughs> and then I was like, "You good?" And then I, I didn't. I and then I didn't hear you. Yeah, I'm good. It does. It, then I literally called, called you. and was like, "You good?" You like? You mentioned. Oh yeah, no, I was, I was, I was gonna jump on. So, I, I, hey, shit happens. Uh, Savage AF. We here. Uh, you know, some it's this is a an Instagram show, okay? We we ain't, we ain't doing the high profile shit, even though our yeah. show is high profile. It is, yeah. And I'm high, so that's you know that that helps. I'm high, and you got profile. <laughs> that's how it works. There you go. Yeah, man. <laughs> but I'm 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 t I'm doing the thing right now. Uh, they bam. I say. So okay. Yo, everybody, that's the website right there. I, I pinned it on the bottom. You can buy one of our Savage AF t-shirts and masks. I have to update the thing for the mask. So I will have it done by the end of the show. I mean, the end of the night, I've been really, you know, <laughs> I, I just, it's been, it's, I've been on one. So, um, Savage AF, make sure that you follow us on all social media pirates. Okay, did, did Publicity Mag, don't start. Don't even start yet. Because if you start now, then it's going down. Okay, it's going down. I'm not. I'm not playing. Okay, Savage Ed brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Make sure that you follow us on all social media platforms: iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook. Facebook, our, our fan pages, Savage AF. Okay, make sure you follow it, and also make sure you follow this young man right here. All right. Make sure you follow this young man right here and, and tell your friends, friends, friends to follow. Um, make sure you follow him at Black Pedro. But it is, y'all. Um, he needs some dick. And at... What are you talking about? No, so, no, Miss Amber no. jumped in. He needs Ms. some Amber dick. Miss Amber is talking about a publicity man. Uh, she goes. She, oh, wow. I, I, don't, I, don't, just, I don't even think. Okay, so y'all already I don't started. Even think, so, so, like, there's a certain faction of our audience, and we love y'all because y'all are way more savage than we are. I say this all the time. But uh, there's a certain faction of our audience that just logs on to bang on each other. Like, they, they have nothing to do with it. They don't even pay attention to the topics. They'll, they'll throw in a, a little thing every now and then. Shane's at, at Club Rainbow right now. Uh, but they'll throw in a few things. I don't know what the hell happened just now, no. Uh, but, yeah, they'll just go in, go in ham on it, on each other. So, uh, cheers to that. They're going ham on each cheers other. Cheers to that, John. But, <laughs> you said cheers to that. Cheers. Seven cheers. Day, yeah. uh, no, I just wanted to let y'all know that um, we um, are getting closer to having everything updated. Um, uh, the new person that we're dealing with, Paul, is actually knocking that out. It's a lot of stuff to upload. He's on it, so that'll be cool. Also, the um, YouTube page will be started by this week. So hang in there and uh, with us. But we will need you to subscribe. Fuck all that. Don't, 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 you know, we want you to subscribe. Okay. Okay, so there and there you have it. Uh, and yeah, right, Google Play, iTunes, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeart, Stitcher, Slacker, iHeart Radio. I All right, so that's what it is. JD yeah. iPad, Lynette, Kamara, we see you. Publicity Mag, I see you. All right, y'all. So um, you know, let's get into it. Savage AF Laugh Factory Radio, powered by Dash. It's September first. It's uh we we've gotten through sixty six percent of this year uh, basically two thirds, and uh, you know going into this last third, let's just see how much much more fucked up it's gonna get. Uh, yeah, it it I, it could it could possibly get more fucked up, doubtful, but possible. It could be, but it, I mean a lot of shit has happened. We're gonna talk about a lot of it on the show today, and it's just um you know. <laughs> I, so I got to say one thing. I knew that our president was going to be a shit show from get go. I told that to people. I said that flat out. But now they don't need any more evidence. He is a absolute shit show. Many strokes, all kind of wild shit. So he's he's having a lot. He's having a lot of problems because he's a bad person. So 
bad things are happening to his his physical. Who's he? Who's he? And I want us to who's he? Who's he? root that on. Who's he? Who's hmm? he? What's the he you talking about? Trump, uh, Trump. There you go. Trump had, uh, he's saying that he didn't have many strokes, but they're thinking he's having a bunch of many strokes. And he's saying well, no, a lot no, of crazy no. shit. King, so King underscore Solomon Entertainment it's here. It's not that he was currently having him, but there was, there was a trip he had to uh, Walter Reed Hospital, like, I think last year or something, earlier this year. But, uh, and they, they were saying Pence might have to take over. And, you know, of course, he's refuting all of that. But, you know, lies, lies, lies. We know that dude. Shawnee, we see you. Yeah, that's the same thing. Same old shit. Right, same so, old shit. Yeah, exactly. Um, so here's the daily run up, y'all, because Savage AF is the show that will run up on your ass. Uh, we're going to end the show by talking about Walk Your Vote, Florida. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> saying, unfortunately, you missed it, man. We, we, we lost you yesterday. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm talking about this initiative I've got to at least, at least, at the very least, educate people on how they can vote as early as possible and circumnavigate even the postal system by walking their own absentee ballot in and dropping it in a box. Uh, so we're, we're going to talk right. about Florida and your, your deadlines uh, today. And, you know, obviously I'm focusing on key states like Florida, Alabama, uh, Georgia, Texas, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Ohio, with, yeah. Michigan, Wisconsin. Um, but, Wisconsin. But Unfortunately, before, Wisconsin. I don't understand why we fucking got to do that with Wisconsin, but we but do. We lost them last time. That's why. Uh, but before we talk about that, uh, yeah. the NFAC, the Not Fucking Around Coalition, who are they and who are they not fucking around with? Okay, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into that. Uh, say his, na say yeah. his name. Uh, shortly after George Floyd was killed, I was like, the saddest part is we're going to keep seeing this over and over again. It's not over. Um, Dijon Kizzy. 29 years old, was kill out, killed by L.A. County Sheriffs uh, yesterday, uh, on Monday, and uh, we're going to talk about that. Um, but before we get to that, yeah. um, we're going to talk a little politics. Uh, the, the herd turd is what I call him, and Trumpy Dumpty, Trumpy Dumpty's right. new, his new doctor that he loves who says what he wants him to say, uh, you know, he, he's into this herd immunity thing, obviously, so we're going to... He, yeah, he's trying to. He's basically trying to say that even though other doctors are uh, refuting him categorically, but hey, we're gonna talk about that bitch because he 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 got a little testy on one of the. I saw him on MSNBC. Got a little testy saying, "Hey, he's not telling me what to do. Stop it. He's telling you what well, to fucking do." So he we're gonna talk like about that. He's the guy who has no testes. <laughs> you see what I did? <laughs> you see That's what you just did there? What you said with the thing? Ball joke. All right, guys. It's a ball but, joke. It's a testicle joke, and they're always, always going to stay in style. What's up, Sue? Is Sue, my Sue? Your Sue, Sula, is here? Is Sue here? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't see. Um, but before we get into that, uh, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah. Because yesterday, you uh, was calling, you know, and we've been calling for economic, some kind of refocus of our, our I'm not going to spend uh, Pedro, you're going in and out. Okay. Eh, it, oh, ah, ah, you sound like this. Eat. Can, ah, can everybody? Ah, ah. Can everybody like, hear me? Is uh, is everybody having fun? Uh, but just okay. now, yeah. F okay, finish with uh, no, I was just saying that uh, you know, so I'm, I'm calling for economic boycott. Um, you know, uh, and one place I think we can start is Facebook. Uh, and they said I'm breaking up. I'm gonna turn these fucking hair, head, headphones off. Yeah, you see, yeah, you were breaking up. Yeah, you were going in and out. I man, think right. it. Uh, but basically, man, um, Facebook, man. Let's start with fucking Facebook, okay? Because you know, more and more reports are coming out about all these foreign entities using Facebook to just fuck up our whole election system program thing. Everything that's going on. And uh, I'm like, why are we, why are we fucking with this at all, right? Like, I, I get it. As comedians, we got our followings and whatever, and you need to keep right, 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 right. With your anti May and all this shit. But at some point, you know what? Fuck that whole following. At least, at least through the election, right? Like, I, I, I'm, I, I can't. I'm no longer willing. Like, I stopped. You know, Shane, that I stopped really engaging with Facebook at all. Yeah. But now I'm like, shouldn't everybody like? Shouldn't we all just take a pause from Facebook? Like, if it's so clear, if the FBI keeps coming out and Facebook themselves through their own investigation, and yes, 
Lynette Kamara, they do own Instagram, but they function in slightly different ways, right? And Facebook seems to be more of a, a place where people get, like, you know, news some or information, right? Like, can you look right, at these right, videos right, and right. stuff like that and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Slight, it's slightly different, but, but it, and Instagram hasn't been targeted, uh, or at least the FBI or Instagram itself or Facebook hasn't noted Instagram as a, a realm that's being targeted by these entities, but Facebook specifically yes. is. And it, it's, it's, it's been going on since, right? Since the last election. That's how your boy got in. So for, it's been going on for four that's years. They've been doing it basically four years. But ba or, or go on there and have some fucking sense. If you see, it says that, if it, if it says that Joe Biden is sucking the soul out of babies, that's not a real ad. Don't you understand that, stupid people? Like this, but the stupid people, but the stupid people were like, I knew it. I fucking knew he was soaking the soul out of babies. He was just like, he go up and kiss the baby. Then all of a sudden, boom, he starts sucking his baby soul out. Baby soul sucker. That's his name. I mean, that's what they're doing. But I think that you, you have to use it wisely. I, you, I'm, I don't, I'm not a, I like Instagram more than I do Facebook, even though Facebook owns Instagram. But the bottom line is um, you use every outlet you can to get to the people. And you don't buy into some of the bullshit. It's some of the stuff is really obvious. And but Trump supporters aren't that bright. They, I mean, that's the truth. I just posted up a thing where it says basically um, only college. Uh, the twenty-seven percent of the people that are, are not college educated. I got to look at the thing before I fuck it up. I'm gonna look at it so I won't fuck it up. But there, I was about to fuck it up. But you know what? I will fix that right now. I Eve, will fix it Eve's right now so I can Apple tell you exactly what the fuck I was talking about. Eve's Apple is in the building. Eve is in the building? Thank you. Our okay. Now, let me make sure I do this right. I'm, I'm going to say this, then we'll move on real quick. So I won't fuck, because I fucked it up completely on the numbers. Okay. Whites with college degrees, 58% support Biden, 35% support Trump. Whites without college degrees, 59% support Trump. 27% support Biden. So basically, whites without college degrees are the ones, six, almost 60% that are down for Trump. Yeah. It's the same thing with Facebook. Facebook, there's going to be a percentage of people that's going to be dumb. We sh if we stop fucking with it, there, but there's still outlets on way we could reach people. We want as many free outlets to reach people as possible without the uh, Russian robots. You know, so but, but, I, I mean, I'm I'm on the fence with that. But 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 bot land is obviously like where the Russian bots are living. And I see you, El Noop. I see you, Felicity Lolly. Like where the robots are living is in Facebook, right? These Russian bots, like they're just specifically targeting Facebook and using that to divide, you know, the electoral body, the electorate, right? So. I'm like, why are we fucking with this, man? Like, it's it. They keep telling us that it's this is the space that they're doing it. Everybody, get the fuck off Facebook right now, right? Like, just leave it alone. And I'm not saying forever, right? It's the only way your grandmother even touches the computer anymore. I get it, right? Uh, but we can take a pause. <laughs> we can take a pause for three months. Right? That's fucked up. I'm just saying, but we can take a pause for yeah. three months, whatever, until after the election, right? It's it's September uh, first right now. You know we September October we get to November, uh, November fourth. Jump right back on Facebook and say fuck you Russia. We didn't hear any of your bullshit. And, and find other sources. Find other right. ways. Read a, a a a magazine or a newspaper or or subscribe to you know one of your nationals like New York Times, L.A. Times, Washington Post. Uh, even if you're conservative, just somewhere else besides Facebook, because whatever. Well, whatever no, good I, I, I see what you're it, saying, but at the same, I think whatever good information is on. But, there, but then you leave it. You you gotta you gotta have people on there that are gonna combat the bullshit no, too. No, uh, no, now no, you know you the bots are gonna be here, but because it's bullshit. Like you don't sit there and argue with bullshit like that. It's it's like don't you gonna sit there and argue with Russian bots? No, Shane, no. Don't do that. No, no, I'm talking Don't about no the general public that but, you read. No, but but the people the, the people on there that are arguing that shit are listening to the bot bullshit. So you can't sit on that space arguing with them. They they they're soaking it up like Capri Suns on a hot summer day. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm saying like everybody needs to exit that space. There there is no combating anything. That's what this space is made for. 
to suck up your life and your soul and your time. Are you in this bullshit instead right. of getting real things done? And and that that's why. So I'm like, like let's get out of this. You know, like let, let, let's yeah. Let's totally like, okay, but uh, but like three months. A lot of people. A lot of people right are, are Savage AF, Flat Factory Radio, powered by Dash. A two month three, boycott. Three. This month, I tell and fuck it. All in November, fuck it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? And, and by, by the way, fuck October, fuck November. But I think that the bottom line is for me. I, I mean, I, I I do use it, and I do, it is effective for me to go after the things I'm promoting. But at the same time, and including this show, <laughs> you know, a lot of the people that came from Facebook came here to watch the show. So I know what you're saying, but at the same time. You can you they could they they're gonna be using stuff on Instagram because Facebook owns Instagram. I know that listen, listen. Facebook own and, and, and companies well, own well, when, uh, when we hear the, that then we then we react to that. But we are what well, we, we have been told too many motherfucking times now that Facebook is this space that Russians, Iranians, Chinese are fucking with, right? Are fucking with us, you. Anybody who's fucking with Facebook and you reading these things and you get mad or whatever, right? Like because they, they put shit out, you know, like the shit that you you know what the you know what's going on right now is that they're posing as left leftist groups against against Joe Biden, right? So all this cop mala stuff that you hear, not all of it. I'm not saying her record is a record, and and you can judge it how you want to, but understand that a lot of it is being pushed through these foreign filters meant to stir you up in this way to not be with her or Joe or whatever. So they're they're now posing as leftist groups against the left, right? <laughs> so, and I just said left, right, but you know what I mean. Um, we do have a follower called Pretty on the Left and the Right, so I'm sure she would know what I mean, but. Uh, right, okay, no, I hear what you're saying, but, and then then and people, okay, for I'll give you an example, people saying there's black social media sites being developed. There already was one, Black Planet. I was, I had a quarter of a million people on Black Planet. And Black Planet was one of the most successful, even though uh, initial, like like a Facebook type of, you know, a social media, but we didn't support it to the level it was, even though they have 33 million people, which is bus fare compared to Facebook or Instagram. But 33 million people with 28 million people active. Okay, and that's, that's the difference. So they that are actively on there consistently, and companies when they want to sell to a black um, audience, Black Planet was one of the first ones they went to. But now we need to step up our game and get a new one, where we can, you know, I mean, they got quote unquote Black Twitter. Um, why don't you make an actual Black Twitter? But bots will probably come near. There'll be Russians put up a picture of. Somebody black, they'll put a picture of Black Pedro up and say it's Black Pedro, and then Black Pedro will be cussing people out. Then people will be saying, "Hey, fuck Black Pedro! He called me an asshole, and I didn't even do anything wrong." Not realizing that's not really Black Pedro. Okay, it's pe it's spelled B L A C K E R E R A Pedro. That's not, that's not the right one. I got I got seven people that got fake pages of me, and I ain't shit. So <laughs> explain that shit. You you think they're not doing that with Instagram? You don't think there's a lot of fake ass motherfuckers on Instagram? There's a there's a ton of them. Or you see somebody got a ton of fucking followers on face on Instagram and get one like on a picture? What do you think those are? Those are called bots too. Body bot bots. Um so uh Savage AF y'all, Laugh Factory Radio, powered by Dad. Uh understand that uh you can download the podcast, follow us. We did uh, become number 45 in all political comedy podcasts in the world. So let's help build that back up, y'all. Savage AF is the podcast. Follow us at Savage AF. And it's free. Right here on IG, too. Uh, IG. Uh, Somebody asked me if Black Planet is still around. Yes, Black Planet is still around. It's in the um, yeah. Yes. It's in the nether realm. Black Planet. People are still doing that? Yeah, I checked on it. I checked on the, the stats on it. Again, that's where I got the stats from. It's uh, They dropped to 33 million people. 33 million people with uh, 28 million active. Mm. 
Now that. And and, it, and a, lot, a lot of ads, a lot of ads go through it. And it's, it's set up just like Facebook. It looks just like Facebook. But it's Black Planet. But I, I, think, I think that we got to, this, we're going to have to work harder this election, not only from Facebook, but in general. Because if you look at how they're doing with the post office, if you look how they're basically trying to fuck over the post office so we won't get, be able to have mail-in votes. Right now, he's, he's sowing seeds so you think that even if he loses, that it's all fake and they can have his people, you know, go buck wild in the street to fight for him because he really is the one that won. So there's a lot of shit we got to fight this time. That's why you, the walking in vote, I agree with you. Um, I forget who it was uh, where he said he's got each person is going to take three people, pick three people up to take with them to go vote. Um, you got to do it that way. We got to get it out there and make sure because this, you, this motherfucker could win. This motherfucker could win if the Democrats get lazy or get cocky like they did with Hillary Clinton because she had a lead. Biden got a lead right now. They could be like, you know what? We got this. And then he ended up fucking winning, especially in the battleground states, which is some bullshit, the Electoral College. What a bunch of cunty fucking ideas that is. Well, I'll tell you one thing that won't win, man, is uh, this, uh, this herd turd of an idea, this herd immunity idea that... Um, Dr. Scott, Dr. Scott Atlas, uh, Trump's new uh, crony, you know, he, he, you know, Burks is out. Um, yeah, he's a crony. Yeah, uh, Did you call him a crony? I, I haven't heard. Of I know, Fauci, yeah, but because he, he, he's mad at Fauci because he told the truth. But, um, yo, did you say crony? You said crony. That's what it is, man. But, um, you know, he, he, he's backed off of the, uh, the idea that he uh, endorses herd immunity, which, you know, pretty much was his initial stance. And now it's that he, you know, he's disgusted, uh, whatever that means. If you're a real doctor, you probably wouldn't be discussing herd immunity. Um, so we, we talked about the, uh, the Mississippi governor. Um, what's his name? Trent something. Uh, he he was a former banker, and he already broke down how ridiculous herd immunity would be, right? Like that by the numbers, state, be broken down by the numbers. Not Mississippi, uh, but he, uh, you know, in his state alone, like at at you know the 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 greater estimation was that eighty percent um, infection would be needed to to reach herd immunity, but he 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 dwindled it down to a conservative forty percent. And based on those numbers, like your hospitals would not be able to hold that, right? Like you can't. So your herd immunity idea is just out of the fucking way. Uh, the fact that uh, Trumpy Dumpy has a doctor that's even willing to discuss that, and he's the one that we're supposed to listen to now. Bish, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me tell you some shit. Well, you know what? I think that the I think that the bottom line is um, this guy could end up fucking up in the next month because he gets jealous of people. He was jealous of Fauci throwing out the baseball, even though Fauci threw the baseball so bad. But uh, at the at the game and just stuff like that, uh, him being he was getting too much publicity, and that was part of the reason. Not only and he, everything he was saying was going against what Trump was saying. I think this guy is so lockstep with Trump that nobody's going to take him seriously anyway. So he'll never be taken seriously as, as a doctor or even as a fucking, you know, a professional at all, ever. Speaking of not being taken seriously, uh, and I hate when I have to pause like this on the subject. Just, just Do it. go back to a comment. But we, we always got to address this, especially at this time in an election year. But uh, Cold Silly, that's a new name. I haven't seen you in here. Welcome to Abadea. I know who Cold okay. Silly is. And Cold Silly know who the said, fuck I am, Cold Silly. voting? Question mark, question mark. I am taking it back. Uh, yes, motherfucker, we all voting. And take your ass back to the polls and vote again and again and again. All right? So if you don't vote, we're going to say it again and again, then shut the fuck up. If you don't vote, then you ain't got shit to say. Because you didn't put in on this and you can't complain about nothing. And even if the system don't work, which we know it don't, you got you don't know it don't work because you didn't even hit the button on the poll machine to, to vote for the thing. See, you got to do that. See, if you don't do that, you don't do the little button thing. And plus, the people that don't do that, it's a little, that doesn't make sense. It's, like, not logical. It's, like, obviously, we are in a system. Uh, I don't like the two-party system. No, I don't like that. But we are. We're, our choice is Kamala and Biden or Biden and Kamala. 
okay? Or Trump and Pence, which there is no fucking, and, there's no and, even conversation there in the same ballpark. And one, four more years. Like you got down, yeah, down yeah, four, your, your mayor, your city council. Your, oh, no, no. Yeah, I was going to say, you, for, not just them. I'm talking about to change. I was watching John Oliver. He said the only way to change this is to go all the way down even to your local sheriffs and get these motherfuckers out. I mean, you got you to gotta think that mentality. We, we got to kind of weed out. Unfortunately, the Republicans have shown they ass. They've shown how bad they are. They've shown how corrupt they are. They've shown how racist they are. They, what they will listen and walk, do anything Trump says, the majority of them. So not all of them, because there's some Republicans breaking off from it. But the bottom line is, you got to go all the way down the ballot. And the motherfuckers that black people say, man, my vote don't count. It don't count because you ain't trying. How about that? Yeah. So, um, you, you know, uh, understand that. And, and, and so that, that we want to drive that home. But I, I, I want to jump back to our original topic that we were on right now because but anytime somebody on here is like, y'all voting? I ain't vote. Like, fuck all that. I'm going to stop and say something, knock you over the head with some knowledge, and then we're going to go back to what we're doing, right? So Scott Atlas, Dr. Okay. Scott Atlas, uh, he's a neuroradiologist, right? And, um, you know, it, it's like, okay, every doctor isn't the doctor you need, right? <laughs> Neuroradiology is like he, he, he treats brain cancer and shit, right? So like that that's right. not virology. That's not dealing with viruses and how they spread and how to fight them and the best way to mitigate that, right? Like it's a totally different field. So you don't take your Chevy to the Volvo specialist, right? You don't take your you wait know, a minute. Yeah, you, you don't sure? take your Volkswagen <laughs> to the Ford dealership, right? Like it's it just like Get the fuck out! You can, what? but then yeah, yeah. they're gonna say you can. Here but the whole time, like, hey man, I just say let it burn, man. Let um, burn. I don't even know what you're doing. I don't, I don't even know what that is. That thing no idea. Don't hear me? I don't know what to do with it. So. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, shit! <laughs> get you get you get on out of this fucking. You go over the Volkswagen. That's what they're gonna do. I just, I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is. Uh, Pedro said, we got to stop and tell people. If we have to actually pin it in the fucking bottom of this, I will put vote, vote, vote for all of you. And the people that you have older people in your family, and sometimes they can't get, they might live further out, or they, they can't get to the polling, or whatever the case may be, you make sure that you take their ballot in and drop it off. It's as simple as that. You do it because there's a lot of older people that can't get around and can't get around, but they still have the right to vote. Make sure you do that shit. And if you don't do that shit, then you you part of the problem. And if Trump went for four more years and you actually sat there and go, man, I ain't vote. That ain't going to change shit. Then you know what? I'm running you over with my car. Right. Fuck that. So, don't go walk in the street. Right, I'm going to so hit you. I'm going to go back and along those lines because cold, cold Silly is back. He said the system will do what it do no matter who is in there. Okay, so, well, well, I, you know, I like to address this idea. We use these terms like, you know, corporations or the system or, you know, like the system is people, dog. And, and in our country, it's most, most uh, specifically practical, right? So, like, you got you to gotta, you gotta first work, work to vote the crackers out, right? So, if you don't vote the crackers out, then yeah, the system will continue the way it does, right? So uh, you got to do that. Right. Um, but beyond that, and I, I get what you're saying, like, yeah, politicians are bought and all of that stuff, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, there are candidates like AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who, who aren't bought yet, right? People we need to get behind and fight for, right? People you really need to stand up for, people you need to be at the polls for. Uh, their allies are the ones you need to be voting for, right? So these, are, so like, just sitting back on your couch and being like, the system ain't, the system just gonna do what it's do, nigga. It's not, you know, like it's not like some wind up toy that you just sit and watch play around. Like we have to be active. The system is us. We the, we're part of the system. We're not a part of the system that we want to be a part of. We need to work to eliminate the part of the system that we are a part of so that nobody's a part of the system in this way, right? But none of that happens by you just sitting back right. and being like, man, fuck all this shit, nigga. I ain't voting for you. Yeah, it's, yeah, but she, let, me, let me break it down like this. If your last name is silly, nobody's going to take you seriously, dog. So you need to get called serious. 
Okay, well, yeah, no, he, I, I know who he is. Um, no, if you look at it, even if you look at, uh, uh, I know this is weird metaphor, whatever. If you look at the Matrix, basically, Neo had to go into the Matrix to defeat the Matrix. He had to be part of the system to de defeat the system. And that's the same thing that's going on with this. You kind of got to be part of the system, play a little bit of the game to beat the game. And if you don't do that, then then you just stand by and use this a nigga that's you bitching, don't play, yeah. and that's all. You, and you can't just see a nigga if that's bitching. If you don't play the game, then you don't really see where it does and doesn't work. Because ultimately, that was what Neo's power was. Is like he got, like he understood the Matrix so much that he was able to manipulate it. Ultimately, right? He was able. He was able to control it right. himself, right? In, in ways that no one. Else by the did. by the end, he was he was he was basically. He was basically part of it, and he made the changes that freed a lot of people. So take, um, take the and other if you look take at the, the metaphor of that, but, take the other pill. But there's a lot of people that don't want to vote. I get that. A lot of black people that yeah, feel like their vote don't count. Or or they're doing so much shit to distract you and so much shit to fuck with you and telling you, nah, don't vote here, don't vote there. Uh, the mail vote, you don't know if it's not going to vote. And, and then actually... Trump said he would actually send armed guards to make sure that people are voting the right way, which some people get intimidated. That's why I'm going to make sure I go with Pedro and Pedro brings Gertrude so we can get through and make sure everything's paid. <laughs> but the people that don't know who Gertrude is, Gertrude is Pedro's gun. <laughs> so and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to rock out with I've that. I've been waiting on Bruce so long. I'm like, do I need to take Gertrude to go <laughs> look for Bruce? Like, where is Bruce? <laughs> Give me my shotgun. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that would do. I don't. I don't think that would work out. If you all respect yeah. the red on firearms. I know publicity mag. Okay, publicity mag is saying. Uh, I see you guys talking back and forth. Uh, I think you need to do uh, research for the definition of slave. For example, you say some slavish stuff. So there may be a photo of. Well, don't know what that means. Apparently, you and Kane are going back and forth. But I understand a lot of people feel like. Well, if you go vote, you just basically help perpetuate a different side of it. It's going to be the same thing. No, the Democrats have proven, and this is a fact, under a Democratic president, the economy has done better. Housing has done better. This is just facts. This ain't my fucking feelings, because fuck my feelings. This is a fact. There has been a little bit more progression pertaining to racial justice under a Democratic president than a Republican president. This is just the facts, and especially under this president that is actually pushing that there's violence, you know, in Kenosha. So it would make him look like more of a tough guy when he sends in the National Guard. That's the motherfucker you're gonna have over another four years. And if he win, he gonna really he gonna pull his dick out. He gonna pull his little Cheeto out, and he's gonna be walking around like, "What y'all got? No, y'all can't say shit. I can pull my dick out all I want. The people voted me in." So don't let that happen. So vote, 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 vote. And the people that don't vote, if you're a person that I'm even interested in and we was like going out or something like that and you didn't vote, our relationship is right. over. I don't want to do And understand, understand. I could be in the middle of the pussy and you told me you didn't vote, I'd stop fucking. I'd reverse all my sperm right back up out to you, girl. <laughs> uh, but uh, can I do that? I don't know. Uh, but I don't think you can do that. I think that, one, that sounded crazy. Yeah, we started we started the show though uh, talking about boycotting Facebook. So understand that we're not we don't just talk about just vote and then sit back and see what happens, right? Like for those who don't understand the reference, Gertrude is the gun that I bought recently, right? She's my nine millimeter HKP two thousand that I go to the range with now and get better at shooting you with every single week. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm also Right. I'm trying to get an initiative going of getting people out to take their absentee ballots to their registrar's office or secretary of state as early as possible. Drop it off yourself. Forget the post office. Forget the polls. Fill it out at home. Drop it off yourself. Right. We can all do that. And I'm trying to figure out the way to try that. that and and and, and, and er um, but also with Facebook, we're talking about economic power in terms of boycotting certain products, certain entities that don't benefit us. And this is for all Americans. Right. Boycotting Facebook would be a way to empower our democracy so that we're not allowing foreign entities to continue to influence our political space, right? Even more than money does. Especially if, 
Especially the way Russia is going at it. Russia is like, yeah, we got them once. It's like, it's like when suck they, they just hit this button. They're like, yeah, got these motherfuckers. Yeah, got these motherfuckers. You motherfuckers got them. Right, and then you win, and it's like you do the low kick in Mortal Kombat, where you constantly do the low kick. Kicked in our chin. You trying to do combo. Right. Why does he keep doing the low kick? Because I'm trying to win this bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like getting beat by That's what, But you know what, though? If, if, you look at, if you look at the way people have gone about it, the way people are talking shit, they, it's like, I hear publicity mag and some people on here and the other people that inbox me, Trump 2020, motherfucker, let's roll, and all that other bullshit, and shooting, that, like, like they were doing in Kenosha, they were shooting fucking uh, paint guns with marbles in them at people. It's like, the only thing I think is, sometimes we act like pussies about it. Sometimes we gotta be just as hard as them, and we gotta be that way in the vote. They, they, they go hard in the paint, Republicans go hard in the paint on the vote. We got to think electoral college, electoral college, electoral college. So all those places that Pedro mentioned, we got to be in full force in those places, period. Um, you know, all right, publicity mag is like, if black people vote Republican, you drag them, so you cannot win with you. Listen, look, 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 at, look at the leadership of your Republican Party right now. And that, now you asking niggas to vote for this, dog. Like, seriously, publicity mag. Seriously, dog. Like, come on, man. Bleach time. <laughs> bleach time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drinks the bleach. No, don't. No, don't tell like, them. Drink bleach. Listen, got, you, what you do is you shoot bleach. As it, listen, it's faster. As, you take some hypodermic needle. As, it, as you know, shoot it up your ass. As a nigga who went to Princeton, I got homies who are fucking Republicans. Dog, they, they rich or whatever. Black people, right? And they're obviously not stupid. They're not idiots. They're just rich, right? We know Jay, We know a comedian, Jalen Bishop. She's been on this show. You can check the podcast. She was on one of our first episodes. She was a black Republican that we debated with, right? They're, they're a money party. They're, they're, if you have money, they're, they're for you. No matter what your skin color is. You could be a goddamn moon star striped, polka dotted ass, lily footed <laughs> motherfucker. They don't give a fuck. You could have guilt. If you got bills, <laughs> they will fuck with you, right? Like, they are for you. Right. They they you know, fuck with I, rich, I, I, but I, the I, thing I, is, I, they I, fuck I, with I, rich, I, but I, they don't I, fuck with... They have no empathy. They don't have any empathy, and they don't have... They don't have any empathy, and they don't... But the percentage of black people that are Republicans and the percentage of black people that are really rich dwarfs, is dwarfed by the white folks, but even, by European-Americans. But, but, but to say they're not... You could be smart in one thing. Like, I can code... But I don't know how to block fucking phone calls that come through <laughs> on the phone. But I know how to code. So yeah, you can be smart on one thing yeah. and, and yeah. fucking dumb. So you can be a black Republican and smart at making money, but be dumb pertaining to a bunch of other shit. And I, we already saw that. We saw that at the Republican National Convention with a bunch of rich black people that were speaking up. And they sounded dumb as fuck. They sound dumb as a bag of dicks. Just... Dummy, dumb shit they were saying. The, you know what? There is no racism in America. If you start that sentence off right there, I don't give a fuck how rich you are. You're an asshole, and I can't listen to you no more. Uh, and that's what some of these black people were Tom saying. GR13 said The Rock is a Republican. I didn't, I didn't know that. Did you know Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a Republican? I don't, th I don't, know, I don't know if he is, but he's been talking mad shit. Uh, He's been talking shit against the Republicans. Yeah, but like I said, but but there are Republicans who talk shit against it. I mean, that's what the Lincoln Project is all about. So you could be Republican right now and still be talking shit about your party, just like we are Democrats and we talk shit about our party, right? And we I talk shit about them. Should be working to make their party better according to their vision, as long as you're not a cracker-minded honky monk. You know what I'm saying? Then sit the fuck down. Uh, well, well, uh, then sit the fuck down. <laughs> you already called some, there's black people that can be that way yeah. too, but. No, for sure. You either cracker or a nigga that think you're a cracker, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, the, the idea that we just gonna drag you for being a Republican, that's not actually where I come from. But right now, right now, if you're asking us, to vote for the right now, Humpty Dumpty Mike Dent ticket. I, like, I'm, I'm going to have to ask you 
to swallow a car tire while it's moving at at least 60 miles an hour attached to a car. Like, try your best to bike. At least 60 miles an hour. Please. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you to actually smear honey and, on your asshole and then let the killer bees swarm and make a hive in your ass. <laughs> That's what I want. Murder wasps <laughs> in your in your ass. Now. That's what in your is. in your asshole, and I want them to live there and continuously sting you until you're driving your car and you accidentally hit um, your grandmother. That's how bad I like. like but I, like you said, Republicans. I was going to say Republicans talking shit. The Lincoln Project is doing better ads than the Dem now the Democrats been stepping up the game. But the, I showed you on one of the shows one of their ads. Oh my God, they're killing this dude on the ads, no, and I'm hoping they work. No, they, they 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 show how his wife doesn't love him. They got an ad about how much his wife doesn't love him. <laughs> no. That's fucked up. Yeah, no, they're they're using everybody. They just went personal. Anybody who says anything, we're like, that's an ad. <laughs> they're like Trump stepped on my toe. Like, <laughs> no, it's basically. <laughs> and this show has wiped. They just, they, and the ad, it shows how his wife is pushing his hand away, how she looks at Ivanka like, you snake, you dirty snake. And there's a there's an audio that came out of her talking shit about Ivanka. She hates Ivanka. So I'm hoping that uh, – we're going to play that on the show as soon as I get it. Get it. I'm going to play that on the show. But I want to make sure that you guys – make sure that you do follow us, on at least on the podcast version, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify – Savage AF, make sure you follow us. Also, make sure you follow that guy right there. Uh, all you ladies that call him Black Gable, uh, make sure you follow. And they do call you that, by the way, Pedro. Um, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. And I'm not going to say Facebook this, from now on. I'm not going to say follow us on Facebook until November 4th. That's also the time we need you Republicans to vote. All right. All right. So hold on, man. Hold on. We're going to do this. Like, like we said, like we said, <laughs> this audience is savvy, and uh, uh, times, times two. I don't, I don't know what you said that got Miss Adverb on your ass tonight, but I see she's on your ass, and um, Miss, and then times, times two. At some point, is like at Miss Adverb, I'm the gun owning type, um, and Miss and Miss Adverb is like good. I'm the type to come up and know how to use them. Come see me. So listen, guys. Uh, first of all, time, time two. Uh, I feel like you're a gentleman because your emoji looks like a dude. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if that was a, a a gun threat towards a woman, but let's not do that, especially not on this show, right? That's 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 not what we do. But, but, okay, but but you you know what? On this show, we don't want you to have gun threats, but you can call each other motherfuckers. Um, you can't call each. You, you can. You, we're, we do allow. Bitch, please. We the bitch, please. Uh, eat a bag of dicks. You can say that to each other, but you can't say eat a bag of dicks. I'm gonna come to your house, right. shoot you in the face. Can't do that. Uh, okay, but, but, but you can tell like, a person, fuck you, please, you rock, and take you. I, I perceive times, times two to be to be a guy, so I'm definitely gonna check a dude for like any any sort of gun reference towards a woman, especially. But in this space, no matter what we say, even though we say fuck your feelings, um, most of us are on the same team. Uh, publicity mad, cover your ears. Um, so we get emotional. And we might disagree. And, and Trump 2020 we people, might, cover your ears. about some things. But, but none of us here are, are not on the same team, right? Wait, wait, wait. He said he, he, said he didn't, uh, didn't threaten her with a gun. She misinterpreted me. She told me. See, to, to type yourself. to myself. Right, I saw that. So I just wanted to clear that up and just make sure it's not that space. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. that, that's all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we, we talk raw, we talk dirty here, but I definitely want, I don't want anybody threatening anybody, but I'm going to check a dude. <laughs> nah, well, like, can No, no. I'm like, no, nah, hold on, hold on. So, all right. Well, I do, I do, I do think that, that Pedro, <laughs> you, we both, we we have called people some some horrific names on here. I know that. I know uh, that. Both of us. You have you have done some run on sentence threats to people, yeah. which where I was like, oh, you just he used a lot of commas in that insult. Um, you know, but I personally feel like 
<laughs> it's me. Yo, you know, I'm going to use Joe. as many words as I can. Honor, that was jokes, <laughs> that's what I it is. And that's what's fucked up about we can't do no stand up live right now. Um, that's real. I'll go straight into Cat Williams in court. I'll be like, Yo, Anna, this is my uh, 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 bitch, Jerry, bitch, Jerry. First of all, let me tell y'all niggas something. Like, I, I, will, I will completely go that route. <laughs> But that being said, let's move forward. Yes. Because there are so many other things to do. We shall move forward. And, and, and since we're moving forward, make sure that you remember this name. A lot of times uh, what they do is uh, they, there's so much stuff going on back to back with shootings and murder and shit going on that sometimes people get forget about this just happened. And uh, the, the, the L.A. Uh, County sheriffs have shown their ass recently. And that's they have shown their ass again because they they have done it before, but um, you know this one is like w crazy. It, Dijon is it Kizzy? Kizzy? Am I saying it right? Be the pronunciation K I Z Z. Kizzy is the pronunciation D, -D I J O N. Um, the reasons that we the reason we get into conflict with cops is amazing. Just bullshit. It's just a bullshit. It's like, well, you know what you did. I saw you, Black Pedro. You, you, you jaywalked. So uh, I'm going to have to bust a cap in you because you jaywalked. I mean, it's like the most minor shit. And this situation was a, uh, something was minor that turned into something major. And they end up, you know, murdering them. And it is murder. I hate when they act like cops can't be murderers. I, that gets, I saw it on the news where they're like, well, he wasn't. Somebody said, no, he, that was murder. And the lady said, no, you can't really say it's murder. And you know, it's alleged accidental death. No. You yeah, shot him. You know, we, we have, we have I hate that shit. of murder or whatever, but essentially, when, once a, another person takes another, it's like, you, you've murdered them. We, we, we justify it either behind the badge or in self-defense or, or whatever. But yeah, you know, it, it's, it's killing somebody, right? So um, let, let's set it up for those who don't know. Uh, again, his name is uh, Dijon Kizzy, D-I-J-O-N. K I double Z double E. Um, twenty nine years old. Right. Twenty nine years old was riding his bike, and and this would essentially be, all right. So, I used to I used to live near uh, Bud Long and Thirty Ninth, um, and which is near USC. This would be Bud Long and One Hundred Ninth. So, like, if you go seventy blocks below USC, you are in South Central Los Angeles. Uh, this is a black man riding his bike through the neighborhood. Um, I'll, I'll just read from the, the Washington Post article real quick for you guys. Uh, Lieutenant Brandon Dean, this is of the LA County Sheriff's Department, said Monday evening that two deputies from the South Los Angeles station were driving on Bud Long Avenue when they spotted a man riding his bicycle in violation of vehicle code. Um, so, this this is where they, they, they stop this man. They don't get more specific than this. But this starts with a man riding his bicycle in violation of vehicle codes, which I interpret having ridden my bike for many years through this city to be either you were riding on the wrong side of the road. You know, I've had cops yell at me for riding on the sidewalk. Um, I, I've been pulled over on my bicycle in Hollywood, for running a stop sign, they put me against the fence, handcuffed me, searched my backpack, um, and they gave me a ticket for running a stop sign. So I, I know right. that they do this, that they run up all motherfuckers on bikes. Um, eventually, this turned into a chase and a scuffle, at which point, uh, apparently, and I'm reading again from this article, the man then dropped a bundle of clothing he had been carrying, uh, Dean said, that's Lieutenant Dean. Uh, the deputy spotted a black handgun in the bundle, right? This is from the Dean's mouth, or Dean, <laughs> the Lieutenant's mouth, Dean is his name, and both opened fire, killing the man. So from the Lieutenant's mouth, he is saying that they discovered a gun in a bundle of clothes, not in his hand, not aimed at them. Not pointed at him. Yes. In a in 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 laundry, my nigga. Like in clothes and pull out. So you know so what? Once a gun is on the scene, and this is why I don't carry Gertrude around, right? 
once a gun's on the scene, <laughs> like, if you don't get that, they're going to put it on you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it can't be like that. Like, you got to <coughs> – forgive me. But, like, that that's all they need is to see that gun, and they're like, we can shoot it. All right. But, see, but, but, but th th they come up with so much minor shit. You could spell out the word gun, G-U-N. And they're like, ah, he said, he, he said gun, and, you know, and they could shoot you, and you can have your hands up. So, yeah, having it out in a, in a backpack or whatever is going to be problems. But the end of the day is, obviously, this man was unarmed because he didn't have it on him when they gunned him down. And this has been situation after situation after situation. Same situation that happened in Kenosha where this uh, white, I don't, know what it, I don't know what his name is right now. I can't think of his name, but he's 17 years old, where he said that, oh, well, I got the gun when I got there when they found out the gun was actually registered from his father. It's all, it's the same old bullshit. They'll come up with every reason they can to, and you, that's why we can't give them, that's why Gertrude can't go around with Pedro. You can't give them just any reason at all. But it seems like even when you don't give them a reason, they still fucking do it. So what do we do? Do we just keep, Letting them take us the fuck out? That's what I want to know. I'm at a point now where it's like, do we let it or we do, or what happened up in, uh, was it Kenosha? I don't know. It was Portland or Kenosha. Y'all can correct me. Where a person was killed and shot, where someone shot back. And how often do you, how many times do you got to shoot at somebody where you go, Pedro, Pedro goes, you know what? I got to shoot back. It was Portland. Okay. Or at least he was wearing right wing. Was, yeah, shot. And killed. Um, and and I see uh, Cole Silly. Right. Cole Silly's like, why 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 have Gertrude? Then if I'm not gonna care, if I'm scared, why why have her? I should sell her. Uh, no, it's just you know, every 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 piece is gonna have its purpose, bro. So like, I'm not gonna get my first piece and just be running around and fucking say, yeah, first of all, this is L.A. My nigga, I don't know. Right, answer. You, but you, you it ain't like you can't you can't have for extra okay. tomatoes. I want extra tomatoes. I want extra tomatoes on my veggie burger. And if I don't get it, you ain't gonna use it for just random shit. Oh, you think I ain't getting that parking space? That's my parking space, motherfucker. Now, but that now I think like that sometimes. Because I, right. you know, but, but I don't think that Pedro don't should do that. Plan. But Gertrude is, is strictly for home protection. I don't plan to ever take her out of this house like that. Um, but I, I have other pieces coming that are for other purposes. So don't, don't, there's no, I, I ain't buying no gun with no fear in my heart. Dog. Like, I got a plan with mine. And that's why I always tell y'all don't. Yeah, no, that's not the reason. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, Action Jackson or black ass Rambo, Rambo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you, nigga, you ain't going to get him by yourself. Somebody said that you're going to be. You're gonna be the new rifle man. You're gonna be the new rifle man, and we're gonna see him driving around in his car with his gun reached out the thing. Y'all better be, yeah, motherfuckers. Y'all better be with me. I don't want to be out there like, yeah. I want you to tell us, uh, us, where, where did where did us go? <laughs> yeah, so y'all just all gonna leave me by myself. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But you know what? In this situation, he. But you gotta look at the look at the list. You just said it. Uh, say his name. Look at the list of people that we have pretending to police brutality.